Hello and welcome to yet another episode of things that could have been and would have been very cool to have probably but uh, want to be very much likely. So today we're going to do we talk we're going to talk about decorations and it, you know I got to do a very quick introdu introduction of what CSD against SSDs are. So if you know that already you can skip the next couple of minutes otherwise very quick introduction. This is Dolphin, you probably know about Dolphin. And what you can see here on the top is called a SSD. So you can see that this, this here is the toolbar. You've got like the actual things that they have, um, you know, things that interact with application. And this part is drawn by the actual application. However, here on top, you have what's called the decoration, which is not drawn by the application. It's actually drawn by the window manager. So this is drawn by the application, this is drawn drawn by the window manager. This has some benefits. As an example, if the application crashes or stop responding, you can still draw the decoration and the decoration will still work. So as an example, if you want to close it, you can just press the X button. The X button won't ever stop working even if the application does, which is a nice step. At the same time, however, some other applications like uh, GDK does that prefer to use client-side decoration. This was an example of SSD, so server-side decoration. JTK does a CSD, which is client-side decoration. So what's that? Everything, including the shadows and the decoration, actually the shadow is part of the decoration, is drawn by the application. So the whole thing, which does mean that if anything stop, uh, stops working, you know, the whole thing stops working, even the shadows. But uh, as a benefit, you get that you're able to actually add buttons in the title bar because it's actually drawn by the application itself. Those are two very different approaches. And there are, you know, criticism of one, criticism of the other. It really depends on what you're trying to do. KD is very much a fan of SSDs in general and GNOME is very much a fan of uh, CSDs in general. So funnily enough, I saw this Reddit post which says a solution to the CSD controversy. Now, it is true that CSDs are a bit of a controversy. Which one is better? Which one should we use? So uh, uh, what I wouldn't expect is the solution. First of all, there's no solution. There's like different uh, ideas and opinions, but even if there's a magic solution, then it's probably not going to be on Reddit. Like that's probably not the place to discuss these kind of things, <laughs> the magic solution. And to be fair, uh, this this person that says that he did propose this to the XDG mailing list. And I checked the merge request that uh, he had done, the, not the merge request, the ticket he had opened. And I think it shows that this is a random person that decides he knows the solution and has no particularly big technical knowledge about all this stuff. So he was shoot down very quickly and he got annoyed by the fact that he got shut down so quickly and he went to rant about um, that on Reddit, which is not nice. So very quickly though, what is the solution? Because maybe it's, a, it's indeed the solution and it's not actually something that we hadn't uh, seen before at all. The whole thing, which is actually very detailed for what I would expect out of a Reddit post, is mostly talking about the dynamic um, decorations. What are the dyna dynamic decorations? So the idea is, instead of having this alternative between having all the decorations drawn the applications so that they can draw, draw um, buttons on them, or having everything, all the decoration drawn by uh, the window manager so that, you know, everything continues to work and the application is only the content of the application. What happens is that the application kindly ask the telling the window manager to please add some certain buttons in the title bar, which could then be customized by the users as well. That really depends on how you want to implement that. So as an example, an application could go ahead and say, hey, uh, in my title bar, I do want to have a menu button with these options inside of it. And then whoever draws actually the decoration will apply that. And here we've got a list of components that this person uh, proposes to actually have and that the application could uh, be could ask for, like a spacer, a separator, a label, an icon, a button, all of these things that kind of make sense. So 
This idea doesn't start here. In fact, there's this very interesting blog post by Ken Vermet, who is a designer at KDE, currently not active, but has been uh, in, in the past and recently. And some years ago, qu quite some years ago at this point, actually, he had done multiple mockups and tried to push for the implementation of this kind of things. So this is the mockups that he has done for KDE. So you can see that we have the application icon, and that is fine. Then we have buttons, and then we have widgets, and then we have the title bar. This is the design concept that was pushed forward. And interesting, interest, interestingly, today I can speak enough. There's actually a lot of discussion on how to do this, even from a technical uh, side of things, downsides, uh, like customization, all the stuff. In fact, there was even during the plasma sprint of uh, 2015, so seven years ago, during the sprint, where is it? Here. So we actually had some talks about how to implement that, these dynamic decorations, and there was discussion on like what could be the issues with it, the benefits with it. And there was even a proof of idea where the application uh, managed to ask for a slider to have in the title bar, which is pretty cool. Here we can see a, a couple of other uh, ideas and very important here, keep in mind that in KDE, the decorations are themable, which means that you can install third parties that draw the decorations instead of the default one, which is Breeze, which means that different decorations should also implement all this stuff. And in theory, this would allow to actually use different styles and themes for uh, even when you ask for the same thing, just a slider as an example. So that would have been cool as well. And this is probably the best example, and that is a dynamic decoration in the style of Windows XP. So, wow. So where did this go? And sadly, pretty much nowhere. So I can't speak exactly of, of uh, what happened with this in particular, because for obvious reasons, I mean, I, I wasn't there, so I, I can't know. However, I think it was roughly at this time that back in KDE, we had some like, stuff going on in trying to decide what KDE had to be. A lot of things changed back then and a lot of people actually working on this uh, this stuff changed, especially as far as the UI design go, uh, went. In fact, I think for a certain period, even Kembernet went uh, unresponsive, like uh, no longer active on the VDG for a while. So in that period of like trying to build up actually after that, there has been like this clear idea that has been pushed forward by many developers that um, CSDs and in general trying to draw things on the title bar, which is supposed to be accessible and easy to drag and drop. Like take this title bar as an example. If you try to drag and drop uh, a user that comes from another platform could go into anxiety because uh, if you try to drag and drop here, you, you're clicking a button. If you try to drag and drop from here, then you know, you're know you dragging a slide bar. So it is a bit, um, it goes uh, against the principles of um, accessibility. So nowadays in KDE, the idea is to use server side decoration always and never really put widgets into the title bar because that would be a bad idea for various reasons. Uh, I provided one as an example. If you're interested, you can go check out a, a two blog post about this by Nit Graham on his blog point test stick. And this is Kitty. Another thing is GNOME, like that's the other main desktop environment, like the biggest one. So would GNOME do something like that? The answer is obviously no, because they have CSDs and why would they have, why would they go for a API that would be much more complex to implement and maintain to have something that they quite have already with CSDs. Yeah, sure, there are some downsides with that, like if the application stops responding, then even the title bar does, and you can't guarantee that the application actually draws the title bar correctly, like maybe they do some weird stuff. There is downsides, but it's not the kind of downsides that would um, make sense to have like, a complete rewrite of how everything works regarding title bars to completely change everything. So th they wouldn't do that, obviously. 
So we have currently KDE that is on SSDs and doesn't plan at all to change that. And GNOME, which is using CSDs and doesn't plan at all to change that either. So this is not happening, simply. I don't think this will ever happen because if the two biggest desktop environments don't want to do this, I doubt that there would be enough uh, support for to have a significant API because you do need a shared standard Otherwise, some, this application will only work with one window manager because you have to ask the window manager for the buttons in the title bar. So this is simply not happening. But it's a cool idea nonetheless, isn't it? In ending this video, I want to say that I actually completely changed my setup and it's still in work. So if you see, I hope this video went all right, but I'm still trying to change stuff. So if anything goes wrong, sorry. Also, a very quick talk about donations, actually, Last month, uh, at, at the end, I was getting closer to my goal and then I received a super big donation that pushed me way beyond it. So all of that surplus went into this month and counting the monthly donations for, from the various platforms, I'm already at my goal of December as well. But if you do want to, to support my work for the channel and also on my KD development, I'm trying to fix bugs, I'm also trying to develop a new applications, all of that stuff you can support if you want to do a donation. And again, all the surplus will go into January anyway, so it's not like you're wasting any money. I've reached my goal for last month and for this month as well. That is amazing actually, and I would really like to go on with this trick. So if you have any, if you want to donate early, I'd be happy, that's it. Thanks everybody for following and um, see you tomorrow with yet another video.